Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I got to pose like Alan. I do the pose. That's how we do it. Yeah. Alan, yeah. I want that split on film. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, you're I'm... holding out on me. You're a cheater. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. Yeah, I'll I'll, li- I'll leave the splits to you, Alan. Yeah, maybe, maybe no, Samurai no. guy thirty years ago, maybe I could do that. But uh, I'll leave, I'll let I'll let the I'll let the splits. No, uh, it's uh, it's that. always good uh, to have a very good stretching because by experience, you know, if you hurt yourself, you you're done. You know, so you have right, to be, right, right, especially yeah, when yeah. you're getting age. You know. Yeah. Well, what is going on? We got the two legends back in the house hanging out with the samurai guy in the movie dojo. That's right. You can't kill the Sandman. That's right. Patrick Kill Patrick. How you doing, brother? Welcome back to the show. I'm doing really well. We're really busy with everything that's going on, but um, I know I'm not the only person in the world who's really busy and uh, it's blessedly really fun work. And All right. I was just in Amsterdam and Alan. Uh, yeah. I was filming Alan for a spot in this movie I'm doing, and nice. He's fantastic in it. He's awesome. really good. Everybody loves it. Hey, Thank hey. you, Patrick. And uh, you, you are you're very uh, strict on set. You're very uh, tough when you do your job, and uh, and uh, I congratulate you because you're not scared of nothing. <laughs> well, I I like to get the shot. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I, know. I, I like to get the shot, and and I I've, I've always found I don't know if how you would feel, Alan, but I've always found if you do it ten times, that's when somebody gets hurt. If you can yeah. do it once or twice uh, with feeling, then usually you, you get to pick yeah. yourself off and head home. But yeah, uh, true, true, true. I, uh, yeah, we got some good stuff. Um, it's. Uh, Holland is a very, very gray place right now. <laughs> oh, so, okay. Uh, but I think that's going to work really well in the in the film. So I'm excited about that. And I'm excited. What's to... great about this thing? We have this yeah. little cadre of people: uh, Alan and uh, Lewis and uh, Cyril, the sound man. And mm. uh, I was talking to Costas Mandalore this morning. All right. And uh, so we've got a, a family that's running around here. So um, it's kind of fun. Awesome, awesome. Well, I'm looking yeah. forward to the future project, not just this project that we're going to d- debut the trailer here on the channel, uh-huh. but uh, future projects. Yeah, you guys keep collabing together. Samurai guys going to show yeah, up and watch. Uh, it's sure. very cool to uh, to do another movie uh, with Patrick, and, uh, and yeah. that's. Uh, yeah, he have his vision, and uh, I was mine for a borrowed time. He has his vision for his movie, but um, it's uh, it's artistic vision and original, and so people will love it. Awesome, awesome. Can you can you give us a little tidbit of no, what it we might can't. be? Okay, okay. We will not spoil. Right. It's, okay. uh, it's a right. secret movie, but uh, all right. I think wait. Uh, soon uh, the world will know. Awesome, 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 awesome. Copy that. All right, we got some fans here in the house. Uh, DJ Anuba says, "What's up, Samurai?" Hey, hey, Patrick, big fan there. We got some Oh, thank you very much. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And uh, what we got here, Kevin, all the way from the UK, he's saying, hey, let's start the fucking ruckus. We're going to start the ruckus once we play that trailer. That's how we That's how we roll here on the channel. But it's great to see you back here on the channel, Alan. That's right, the French dragon. That's right. Yeah, and speaking you. of the... Speaking of the French dragon, uh, are we is is this still coming out? Actually, no, I think I think this project was um, made in in Toronto, Canada, and okay. um, it was a nice project. But actually, uh, it's um, it's not done yet because um, you know uh, producer and director was fighting each other. Oh, so. okay. All right. Well, you know, I got to ask you guys, both of you, on the upcoming projects, just to kind of see where we're at. With it, so uh, is Mast still coming out, Alan? Yeah, it's on. Uh, it's on development. Yes, of course. This project will be very cool because it's a thriller. It's not action. It's just, just um, thriller. Thriller. Yes. Nice, yeah. nice. And uh, I'm excited for Blood Slinger. Is that still coming? Oh, yeah, out? yeah, yeah. It's gonna be on the same time like um, Borrowed Time. I play Officer uh, Gallant, yes. and uh, it's nice part. It's. Um, I shoot this in Toronto, Canada, uh, with um, uh, well-known actors in in Toronto, and it was very cool. 
Was nice. that you in the sheriff's outfit? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's me. You look totally different without the facial hair. Totally different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Looks awesome, great. awesome. I'm glad. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to see Blood Slinger when that. No, you will, you sure. will, you will love it because my character is so different, and um, it's bit, it's a little bit not too funny, but uh, I don't want to spoil. Okay. But it's a good movie. Copy that. And uh, a couple of projects here, Patrick. Before we get to the main project today, uh, Borrow Time Three uh, is is this still coming, Patrick? Baba Yaga with Nina Bergman. No, you know uh, that. It's interesting that you brought that up uh, because I just had uh, the, the director of that works with, for me and with me. Oh. Um, and it was a, a project that never manifests itself. So we, um, I love Nina, by the way, although yeah. she won't talk to me because um, I invited her to, um, long story short, I was in, I, I was, I was sort of made the Hollywood liaison to something called the Grand National Quail Hunt, which is the oldest uh, quail hunt in America, like 50 years old, you know, organized thing in Enid, Oklahoma. So those people were gracious enough for to invite, uh, have me invite 50 Hollywood people out there yeah. for an all expenses trip at the hunt. Uh, and you go out, you actually only sh killed six quail. That's the limit. But I, it's, I've never seen nicer people, more um, more um, given to the success of other people. They were all, to, they wanted to know what you were doing and how they could make your life better and all this other stuff. And again, think about it. 50 named people from Hollywood, all expenses paid. They let us film the whole thing too. And um I, uh, it's in a male event, but they said if we bring a, uh, actresses and female entertainment executives and things, they would organize a female-only hunt. Oh. And and they also said within two mm -hmm. years it'll be completely co-ed. So um, I invited Nina, and Nina's a vegetarian, right? Right. And right. she she flipped out. I said, well. I said, just go and learn how to use a shotgun. It'll be good for you. Uh, right. And I had mentored her a lot uh, in the sense that, you know, I, I, I was lining up a motorcycle deal for her and things like that. Yeah, but yeah. she, you know, sometimes you run into these sensibilities and she has not yet talked to me. Now, I hope we may be talking to her for my new movies and I hope that she will... Um, uh, you know, let bygones be bygones because I'm not a vegan. I, I, I really believe in largely a vegan diet and I think that's healthy for you, but yeah, I don't know whether it's my genetic code or whatever Alan might feel, uh, you know, it's a little bit of meat is something that I, I was have actually been ordered by medical professionals to eat it because of the iron. Right. So, right. um, it's just one of those things. But God, is she a skilled martial artist actress and a skilled actress? She's a, she's a, she's an ass kisser, a kicker uh, yeah. when it comes to uh, working. It was a great privilege to do uh, Assassin X with her um, because she's awesome. So yeah. uh, uh, I, I hope that the friendship resurrects. I'm sure. I'm sure it will. I actually had her on the channel uh, last year. And, and uh, she was a lot of fun. We had fun talking movies and stuff like that. She's uh, a great gal, but yeah, man, yeah. I really, it really uh, blew her mind that I, want, I invited her to a place where <laughs> little birds were going to die. And I get it because I have a dichotomy about killing animals myself, but I eat some, what I do eat, I usually hunt myself. So, right, right. Yeah. Right. I'm sure you, you two will be working together in the future for sure. Uh, this series, uh, Patrick? The circuit is this still coming out or is this out already? Well, I know they filmed that. I don't know what's going on with that project. I'm sure it'll manifest itself at some juncture. Okay, cool. Because a uh, a whole series based off of these movies with a uh, Grunner here that'd be great. I love to see. Olivia. Yeah, yeah, he's he's, he's, he's awesome. a really great guy. Wonderful guy. Yeah, and I ran into him at a convention and took a photo with him. Very nice. Very humble. Uh, very sweet guy. Sweetheart, very accomplished yeah. helicopter pilot, uh, security guy. He's a really awesome. I'm sure he'll be in my film. Oh, nice, nice, yeah. nice. 
And I came across this, Patrick. I was like, what is this? The Catalyst. I'm really looking forward to that one. This is a young director named Chris Falkins, who I, I really admire uh, his talent. And he's, um, it's, they've done a bang up job. It's just, uh, they've locked the print and it's uh, about to come out, uh, I think. So I don't know if they have the distribution deal yet, but I'm really excited about that one. Yeah, because I was like, man, this looks really good. I got to ask Patrick about it. Cool. Yes. Some great forward. guys. Uh, the the leading man in there is, a, I, you know, I, I, I'm sorry, I can't recall his name right this second, but he yeah. he's really, really talented, and I think he's going to go very far. Nice, nice. Yeah, I'll have to keep an eye out for The Catalyst. Yeah. Uh, Active Shooter, is that still coming out? Um, Active Shooter is kind of a, it's a nice poster, though, isn't it? Um, I uh, Alan's getting bored with these uh, movies, but <laughs> I uh, active shooter. I have all of the footage sitting in my uh, editing bay right here, and I have yet to, you know, COVID's been really extraordinary to me. Um, uh, I started getting hired a lot as a, a, a script writer and uh, doing a lot of work doing that, and a producer. And yeah. so that has fully engaged me. And everything got really elevated. It got elevated uh, graphically. It got elevated script-wise, everything we were doing. And I just don't know that I know how to make Active Shooter uh, at the level that we're doing work now, right now. Gotcha. It's a great concept, but I think it's that novel that novelists throw away. You know, that, um, so, um, I, I don't know, uh, okay. footage, I keep thinking we'll make social media posts out of the footage. That's really brilliant, but I really right. don't want anything that's not brilliant coming out of the film company. Gotcha. Gotcha. And, and I, I really hope this is still coming. Ice cream man. Is that still coming? It's a great concept. I own it. Uh, I, I wrote a whole treatment for it. Yeah, but again, it's on the back burner. Okay, it's, okay. it's on a back burner. Fingers crossed, because this is right up Samurai Guy's alley, man. <laughs> well, it, it'd be a fun one to do, and the the story is really fun. But you know, a lot of what we do is defined by what money drops, right. what money comes down the chute, and uh, we've got some pretty big, uh, in my view, very important projects that need to go out and. Um, we do a lot of prep work before we pr present something. So I'd have to do the prep work on, uh, on that project. And right. it was a fun role to do. And, and I think Alan knows you could, Alan knows you can make a movie out of anything. So you've got to really keep focused on the stuff that brings in, yeah. uh, that is funded and is moving forward that way. Yeah. Copy that. Well, one of the main reasons I'm really excited for, Ice cream man, because it's got a little, it's got a little bit of that vigilante esque. And speaking of vigilantes, baby, let's go ahead and check out the trailer for Borrow Time Three. Let's go. <laughs> Denard is my name. I am the victim of a secret experience. I am on board time. I have nothing more to lose. I have to end what I've started. I have to find the guy behind all of this. This is going to end badly. We are discovering a new science. Man 2.0. Wagner is a bad guy. I'm sure you understand that. And he wants to use this technology for very bad purposes. He has to be stopped. Everything that's going on in your life is deeply disturbing. But I want you to know that I'm there 100% for you, Mr. Denard. Too many people dead around me. Bro, you are not alone. You don't have to carry that weight by yourself. How are you, my friend? You think you're smarter than I am. It's me, Odyssey. This is my city here. Maybe it's time you gave Wagner a third big surprise. It's 
Surrounding yourself with people you trust is the key, Frank. Don't forget, we have the same goal in mind. I know how you like to fight, and you're going to get in trouble. You're going to go to the place Wagner, all alone. Be careful. The chaos, the confusion. Be with it. Let it be a source of empowerment for you. You're the only family I have. Don't do anything stupid, Frank. Bring me a dream, Denard. Bring me a dream. Yeah. Hey. Ho. That's what I'm talking about, man. I love that. You so much. Kick at the end, man. It still gets me. I love it. Yeah, a little homage to the Sandman. Exactly. Oh, I love that too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I really love um, the character of Patrick. And uh, when I, I wrote the script, uh, I didn't expect because I. I I remember when I tried to find a great character for playing Wagner because uh, I said I need I need to find a great actor and I find I said I I need to ask if Patrick Kilpatrick can do it and uh, I was lucky he was interested uh, to working in Europe uh, with me on this uh, project and then uh, right away in Los Angeles for the other part and we did it we did a great job and uh, Patrick. Uh, is a uh, is uh, and was impressed because when he arrived, he was uh, just came back. He was at the hospital with a uh, procedure, surgery, and everything, and uh, he did it. Is is not human? I think this this man is not human. I don't I don't think he's not. He's, no, he's strong. He's very strong. He's very strong. Well, you got to use what you got. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I I knew that I was going to have a lot of bruising from this procedure, so we wanted to. Um, I I, oh, I did a film just before Alan's where I played a, a man who was beaten up by the police and lost his son. So, I mean, I was a lot worse then. Right, so, right. And so uh, we had fun with it. And uh, the audience hopefully will really like what we played uh, played around with. And, uh, and oh, yeah. Together. Well, already yeah. they're excited right here. You got. We have several fan. dogs. Dogs. Several dogs are yeah. stars in the movie. Oh too. my goodness! All right, yes. all right, nice. I like that. We yeah. got Anubis here Patrick saying create, uh, he's uh, down. Yeah, he creates his own or, or, they're, they're, it's on character, and uh, uh, and when he read the script, so he, he asked me if I, I have an idea, and with his dog and stuff, and uh, he did <laughs> something very, very, uh, very cool, and. Um, so I don't want to spoil uh, okay, okay, the, the okay. project, but um, I think uh, that's gonna be a very, uh, very f strong ending. Nice, nice. Little, little Remo Williams esque, Patrick, a little bit. Um, let me think about that. I had hair when I did Remo. <laughs> I mean, with the dogs. <laughs> I had. Uh, did I have a dog in Remo? I don't think so. Well, the dogs in that movie were like super smart, which was oh, part really? of the comedy. I, yeah. You remember better than I. No, everywhere we went, that my character went, we we um, we were running into these wonderful. One of the great joys about acting for me is to, it's sort of like a comedian. You know, the comedians I really have, uh, uh, admire are the ones. Say, let's say they're the MC of a show. Yeah. And they get there and they they don't just do a routine. They immediately absorb the environment that's around them. And all of their jokes become really brilliant at nailing the environment that they're in. They're all topical, but very specific. And I've seen guys do that and I really admire that technique. So one of the things I try to do, and Alan was so wonderful in allowing me to do it too, is we get into an environment and, and pull out whatever is in that particular environment to elevate the story and the script and the character. And we kept running into all these fabulous dogs. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I don't want to spoil it either, okay. but we, uh, 
that was a great joy. You know, they always say don't work with animals or small children. Right, but the, right, right. The dogs were brilliant, and uh, and it played right into the camera. Nice. Yeah, it's yeah, true. It's true on camera, but uh, surprise when you will watch the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, you get a little taste of that in the trailer. That was a, uh, a dog named Misha Pooh Bear. Oh. Yeah. He's a, he's a, awesome. a very, very prima donna. A big yeah. prima donna. Very, <laughs> um, had its own trailer. All that stuff, right? Had its own keeper. <laughs> uh, Susanna, a friend of mine, she came, was kind enough to bring her to the set and um uh, yeah it meant the world to her to have her dog in the movie too so that was another wonderful thing but it nice. really fit it, if it wouldn't fit alan wouldn't leave it in the movie <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was fun and um in la uh the the, the that that's, that's what i i love on on borrowed time because the beginning is all Los Angeles, and then you go to Europe. So different atmosphere, but on the same time, uh, that's cool because people um, will discover. Um, I love when when uh, you have different things. You know, like uh, it's it's called production value. You know, so uh, that's uh, that's very cool. And of course, um, we were lucky to have um, David Worth uh, in LA for the. Um, directing the the part so we talk about it and he said oh i don't know you should direct in us i said no i would love you to direct in us and uh, he gave me he said okay let's do this and he was excited to working with us nice, and with nice. patrick eric and yeah so with eric roberts and stuff i i we have a great time eric is is fun and um so uh he's always on time like patrick patrick was always on time and um so that's called professional. So yeah, that's right. <laughs> we don't have to wait nothing. And uh, when it's action, Patrick and, and Eric are straight. You know, we don't waste time. That's good. That's good experience. And um, I've uh, already working before with uh, with Eric. It was cool, but with Patrick, it's um, it's very interesting because um, he create a lot of uh, around him a lot of things. And uh, so. Uh, Nice. When you watch Patrick, you can watch him like uh, an hour, an hour, because he creates everything uh, on his face and stuff, the yeah. way he looks. And no, I, I, it's good because each character he did, it's right. always interesting. That's what I love uh, when I, I watch all the parts nice. of the different movie with Patrick. Well, this shot alone right here, I'm I'm scared shitless. So I don't want to I don't want to mess with this. <laughs> Somebody yeah. pissed Patrick off, man, in the movie. Yes, yes don't mess yes. with Doctor Wagner. That's not good. Yeah. It's not some, good. Some, uh, some people pissed off uh, Doctor Wagner. Yeah. <laughs> well, the truth is that most of the guys who play villains in Hollywood and Alan too is they're the sweetest of yep. people. I don't know whether you get to visit that stuff all and get it out of your system, but uh, generally the guys that I've met who play uh, villains have been really sweet, really yeah. nice human beings. So, Patrick, how was Alan, that? Alan, of course, is one of the most gracious people on the planet and really took care of me over there. And really I needed some taking care of because I was about a week and a half out of major surgery that went bad. Hmm. So, um, you know, it was, yeah, I, I would sleep on the way to the set and sleep coming back and then go to bed. <laughs> so wow. it was, uh, it was, uh, but we had a good time. We had a nice. great time. Yeah. We, nice. we had a good time. Fun, fun time shooting. How was it working yeah, with Mark, had... Patrick? Mark's another sweetie. I hope I get to work with him again too. And so talented like Alan with these martial arts skills. Um, oh Yeah. You watch these guys and they're just really amazing. Um, oh yeah, I, uh, Alan and his nunchucks are really it's insane, amazing. and uh, it's it's insane <laughs> how good he is with the nunchucks. We, we are uh, we are we are deploying that with good effect in the film I'm doing now. So. Oh 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 shit! All so, right, I like that. I like that. Uh, how was it working with Matthias here? Oh, Matthias is a very, very, very sweet guy. And um, I enjoy every moment or so with Matthias. 
And uh, it w I was very blessed actually with uh, this tr this trilogy. And at the first place, like I told you before, uh, it was one movie. And for some reason, I don't know, some uh, the producer said, oh, let's do another one. I said, well, let's do a prequel. And then we do a sequel. And it was fun. Yeah. And of course, um, yeah, I've, I have a lot of good reaction with the uh, board time. People love it because it's in between. Is in between the modern world and the 80s. That's what I love yeah. on this project. Yeah, yeah. I, I enjoy yeah, the first really good soundtrack, sure. 80s yes. soundtrack to it, too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. And uh, for Borrowed Time Tree, we have a very great soundtrack. And also by nice. Louis, Louis and, and his friend uh, did um, the, the end credit mu uh, music uh, called uh, Fat Bottomed Boys. Stronger than life, and it's a little bit like Queen. Oh, okay, all right. Yes. And he did a great, great uh, stuff, and uh, I enjoy when uh, when we talk about it. I said, "Hey, you you are you are a rock band, so why not to create a, a music for for the film, right? And also for the scene of Patrick. I don't want to to, to spoil the scene, but one scene is going to be very rock and roll, and you'll see it's going to be very very fun because I think. Uh, the yeah, it's it's always great when you have a, a very different atmosphere, you know, on your film, you know. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, for sure, definitely. Got to have it. Got to have that good rocking soundtrack. Get get everybody pumped. Oh yeah, you know. You will see because uh, on soundtrack you will that's gonna be up and down, very emotional. And we have a great composer. His name is Laurent Veronez. Oh, all right. Nice. Uh, yeah, his name uh, is. Uh, he has an artist name. Is um. His artist name is Airwave, and he's well known on on uh, on um, on the dance electronic dance music. He's well known on. Uh, he was a DJ and stuff, and yeah. he created a very beautiful soundtrack. Nice, nice. Uh, it's quick question: oh, go ahead, Patrick. There's cross European, American um, influences too, because I really enjoyed uh, working in Brussels and. Um, and from there, I, I popped over to Amsterdam, and, and uh, I'm working with an Amsterdam composer right now, um, and uh, some influences that came out of the Netherlands, and of course, Alan. Uh, from I'm really enjoying that expansive uh, culture thing, um, all for the betterment of creating a language that really communicates with people all around the world. So it's, it's, um, for me, that's been a really wonderful, wonderful experience. Nice. Nice. Uh, Alan, uh, do you yeah. feel that, uh, this character, this is some of, this is one of your best yeah, acting yeah, performances yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. I can feel it. Yes. And, uh, it's a lot of moment. Uh, and on this moment, you, you will have a music with a beautiful saxophone, and very, you know, typical 80s style. And, and yeah, I, I love that because, you know, when I was young, I watched a lot of movies. Uh, and uh, for sure, uh, in 1990, when I go to the theater, I was, uh, I, I think I was a teenager. And yeah. uh, the first time I saw this Warrant, I saw Patrick. And it was a dreams come true to work with um, with him, of course. Yeah. I oh, wish yeah. my dad was, was alive to say, Daddy... Uh, I make my dreams come true. I, I'm a filmmaker right now, and I work with all of star like Patrick. The, yeah. the, 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 I was a fan and stuff. And you became what you want to become, you know, because you have to believe and dream and work for it, work for it so so bad. Right, right. You, like David Ward said, you have to kill me for make me out of this business. Oh wow! Look at that. That's motivation. I don't yeah. think most people, you know, anybody who's successful in anything, they really have to be. Somebody once said, uh, choose the thing that you go through the most things to, to become. Like if you, if you, if you were to become an actor or a director and yeah. you needed to become a public speaker, then if you're willing to become a public speaker to do that, then that's another thing that you're willing to go through to do all of these things. Um, uh, it's always good that the universe is nurturing you for yes. whatever you're doing, but yes. that doesn't always happen. 
And yeah. sometimes you have to, there's a time in everybody, every certainly in every actor's life and probably in every profession possible where you're the only person that actually believes that you can do that. Your parents uh, might not believe that you can do that, but you have to push forward. Particularly yeah. if, I think if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, the universe is going to reinforce it as you go exactly. along. Um, True. So, but the timing right. won't. The timing won't always be what you yes. would like it to be, but you know, it's because there's still something you have to fill up. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of like true love. You know, you're, if you're not looking for true love, you're probably in the best place to receive it. Um, mm, I like that. Um, yeah. Well said. Yeah, well said. that's true. But um, yes, it's 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 tough for for. A Sometimes uh, young people, when you dream, then you say, oh, I want to be an actor, I want to be a singer, I want to be an artist. And uh, But uh, my dad was uh, also a teacher of wrestling, so my brother was a European champion of wrestling. So I don't know, for some reason, he always believed, of, of, uh, because I was so passionate, so dedicated of, of what I do in martial arts. Yeah. And uh, so, I, you know, when you're dedicated with your heart, if your mind, and you have to push yourself to go to go what, like Patrick says, the universe. I believe that. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. The universe, Definitely. yes, of course. Yeah, I, I think Patrick um, uh, Charles Bronson, right? When he get when he had the the, the big hit Death Wish, I think he was yeah. like fifty two years old. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, you know, he, did, he didn't there, give I up. Think there's a lot of opportunities yeah. for a lot of people of a lot of different ages. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, I always urge when I've taught acting and mentored people, I've always urged them to create their own content and do everything they can to make it brilliant because um, that's going to elevate your experience. Um, it's going to put you in a different network of people. And it's going to ha give you, provide you with a psychological and an economic sanctuary for the business that goes up and down. I mean, right. rather than just being an actor standing around looking for another audition or another job, uh, I always think that people need to have a creative life that they're in charge of and they can manifest that, whatever it is, passionately. Yeah. So... Um, uh, after a while, you become like Alan and uh, sort of complete people in the sense that you've done every single. It's like you're a football player and you've played every position. And that's a good place to be in. Yeah, it's epic. It's very epic. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, if nowadays it's good for, for an actor to, to written and to direct. You, right. If he wants to be just an actor, it's good. You're lucky. You, you, it's like the lottery. You know, you... You have the ticket, you became like Tom Cruise, Brad Pitt, whatever it is. But if you're not, you have to create your, like Patrick says, you have to to be um, on a lot of hats, to have a lot of hats, you know? Yeah, right. I mean, Tom Cruise, it doesn't matter what level you're at. Tom Cruise is doing his own stunts and he's a mm -hmm. magnificent producer. And uh, I don't know that he's ever written anything, but... He certainly knows how to foster writers. And to, if you don't have a talent in a particular arena, then you want to align yourself with people who are really, really good at that thing that you're not as gifted at. But yeah. even if you're not a good writer, you need to know what good writing is and know right. how to generate it because uh, it's all about being able to be useful you know, um, yeah. can I be useful to this film because I can improv my own lines and I can write my own part and I can wardrobe myself and I can, you know, learn the dialects that might be required or do the shooting or the motorcycle driving or the stunts that are involved. So um, it, it really is a multidisciplined journey. Uh, for anybody who's going to survive at it for very long. Yeah. And a couple of the uh, martial artists and stuntmen actors that I've had on this channel, uh, it was awesome having them here. They're also branching out into learning how to direct. And like Alan said, right. 
but most importantly, edit their own fight scenes because sometimes they'll train hard and do the, yeah. all this fight Design. choreography, and Design. then the Design. editor butchers the fight, and you can't yeah. really see the fight clearly. So they're learning how to do both, yeah. so that way they can get the best product yeah. out there. So it's yeah. awesome, yeah, and that's a constantly evolving thing. How fights are presented, how action is presented. Um, yeah. You know, Atomic Blonde is up there and right. extraction and things mm -hmm. like that. And those things are going. And what you want to do is take the artistic flag and put it a little further up the hill in whatever manifestation that you're doing. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Well said. Well said. It, it's, uh, it happens if you're looking for it. Yeah. But, you know, uh, also uh, one thing... It's uh, the story line is very important because nowadays uh, we have a very amazing uh, action sequence, but the story is not there. So I think sometimes um, that's why so now I love action. Definitely. It's my things, but that's why I, I watch more thriller drama and stuff because I'm more into it. And because um, I love um, feel the character i love feel yeah. the emotion that's what i want when i watch movie i, I need to feel something because yeah. designing action is great uh, and um we we have a very very powerful stunt man uh, in us in asia and stuff yeah like also the the, the guy scott atkins is a great example he's very mm -hmm. phenomenal he's great he's one of the best like with michael j white and stuff they are very great martial artists too but I think I think sometimes when the story uh, needs to be more deep, that's why I am very mm. happy with Borrow Time to put uh, a ca uh, my character very uh, into a lot of different emotion. Copy that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's actually right. The best movies you take. I mean, Saving Private Ryan is an action movie. But it's really powerful because it it, yeah. it, it makes you respond emotionally. Yes. Um, uh, yeah. Three hundred, a lot of great action, mm -hmm. and it makes you respond emotionally. And there, there's lots of different, you mm -hmm. know, the graphics are fantastic. There's so oh. many things. You know, one of the things, just filming this little things that we were doing over there, the tapestry that we're working in is so all-encompassing it 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 goes anywhere it literally goes anywhere and so you're you're sitting there in a in a in a realm of impulses that can go anywhere right right um it, it's 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 really really an extraordinary experience for me to really experience that you know even if it's one thing to go in as an actor and you do your thing and that's a world and stuff like that when you start directing and producing and writing and stuff you realize this is a tapestry that goes anywhere yeah and and it's your job then to carry that artistic flag a little further um, in the very best way that you can. And there really aren't any excuses for that. You know, right. they're, they're just evolve. aren't. Yeah. You have to do it. Or, uh, you know, I have talked to some directors and they look at their work and all they can think about is how what they missed. <laughs> Right, right, right. <laughs> and that's a terrible, that's a yeah. terrible deal. You've right. got to figure out a way to make it as masterful as you can. Yes. And that's a pretty high bar. Um, uh, but the only game in town to really go for. Um, I feel really blessed that I'm just allowed to play in these things and, and, and be with people like Alan and be with... Um, to play in this arena um, because it's a pretty magnificent arena. Um, Copy that. Well, we love seeing you work, you know, <laughs> we're fans over here. You know, we're fans of Alan. I mean, we're excited. I mean, how can you not be excited 
Come on now, look at this cover. I love this cover, by the way. <laughs> oh, yes, I, I love look, Patrick's look face. At the wardrobe alone. I know, I know. That's <laughs> Patrick is styling and profiling right here. But I love his face. I love his face right there. It's great. But yeah, you know, I can't wait. You know, so you and, can and, tell. You and, can. Uh, you thank can you me. very much, Samurai. Yes, yes. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. You got to go. Uh, but just to really quickly to bounce off of what Alan said uh, about Scott Atkins, he brought up some great points. I love his Yuri Boyka character in the Undisputed movies. Yeah, I love yeah. the fight scenes in those movies because I'm, I'm just a fight fan. But then you watch him in Avengement. It's like a totally different experience because exactly. the character, yeah. the story, and it's just like, wow, where did this where did, where did this actor come from? So, yeah, I totally get Avengement is saying. very, very, very great. And um, yeah, Jesse yeah. Thompson is a very amazing director, and I hope working with him in the future because... I think I think n now we need a movie like that, you know, in action, because yeah. the story is very deep. Yes, 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 and uh, also great points uh, from Patrick bringing it up. Javi. You have to evolve. Well, the know, older you get, the more philosophical you become. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and speaking of philosophical, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, I know, I know, Patrick's got to go. I'm keeping him, but uh, everybody, don't forget to check out. Patrick's Kilpatrick's book, Dying for Living, critically acclaimed. Lots of great stories in there. Make sure you guys uh, check that out. Uh, everything's in the description box below of the video so you guys can follow Patrick and Alan and all that good stuff. Uh, that's God um, bless you for putting that up. Volume oh, yeah. two is uh, written, but I have to polish it. Okay. I, again, I've been so blessed that the screenwriting and the producing. And now the directing thing have come uh, come in and the acting with people like Alan. And so, um, but right. sooner or later, volume two will be coming out. And that's all show business all the time. Oh, so, that's going to be great. Um, yeah. And uh, right here, uh, Anubis, he's already got a copy. Look at that. He said he's loving it so far. He's already got a copy. <laughs> I did. I, I, Patrick, give me a copy uh, or so. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's a uh, very cool um yeah, like he said, it's uh, the the volume two will be more show business. Eh, the the volume one, I don't want to spoil for people; they need to yeah. read it. Right. But I think very interesting story. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There are some. There's a lot of villain stuff in it, but um, uh, anyway, yeah. enjoy. <laughs> Uh, I, 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 people, I'm hopeful if they can enjoy that. I like to be able to participate in the, the book arena as well. So oh, yeah. I am. Um, and it's great if you can touch somebody with it and make influence their lives as well. So, yes. Oh, I'm yeah. upward guys. Thank you so much for having me. All right, Patrick, take care. Alan, don't go anywhere. We could chat no, no, for no, a little no, bit longer. I'm here. I'm here. Patrick, thank we'll you so much. Here. Thank we'll you, be, Samurai. We'll I'll see come you back anytime. Day. By the way, I don't know if it makes you feel uh, uh, in any way, but I canceled all other podcasts until we finished the uh, principal photography of this movie. Um, uh, I, I really wanted to do this with Alan, but yeah. anybody who's ever been there knows that it's there's just too much going on. Yeah, so well, I'll, I'll, I'll see you at the end I of the show. I appreciate it. I appreciate you showing up today. You Thank you so time. much, sir. You, all right. Cheers. Bye. Sandman, Bye. baby. All right, all right. So, Alan, let's have some a little bit more fun here. Big yeah. shout out to Patrick popping in on the channel. So let's uh, let's have some yeah. fun, man, and let's uh, watch the trailer again. And let's uh, you can give your commentary over it as well. Let's have some yeah. fun. All right, let me bring it up here. But yeah, man, yeah, uh, this trailer definitely you weren't kidding. Gets me pumped. <laughs> well, um, I'm, I'm proud of this uh the, 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 this movie oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah um, you, you, but you will see, but what, you will see you will see uh it's gonna a lot of um emotion oh yeah yeah well i mean your character's been through so much to the up to this point <laughs> you know oh, yeah <laughs> experimented for, on all kinds of stuff yeah this That's a great uh, moment shot. A lot of reflection. This is like I was very upset and uh, tried to uh, to find a way. Yeah. 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 And, uh, this is uh, almost the beginning of the movie when I. This is also a great moment when I fight with 
this Italian stuntman name is Michael Seagull. He's um he's a great he's a great guy and um and um yeah I spent a great time to work with him. He's very professional. Nice, nice. And uh Costas. There he is. Costas, Costas. yes. He's very, very charismatic and um I love the his voice. He had he had he, he got something special. Oh yeah. Well, you know, yeah. those man those Mandalores, you know. It was, it was <laughs> cool to start. Is this the dog Patrick was talking about earlier? Yeah. Yeah, we have different dogs. Yeah. Okay, the, okay, yeah. okay. Oh man, what fun. Yeah, Patrick's wardrobe in this movie. Oh, also. this is uh, also another guy's uh who has fight. Uh this guy is a French stuntman too. His name yeah. is Jean Marie Paris. He had a fight Jason Statham on the Transporter One. And we did yeah. a fight together. He's very, very, very tall and huge. My yeah, God. I was like, I, this guy looks familiar. I've seen him. No, before. he's he's huge. He's huge. And uh oof. But we, we did very something very cool. How tall do you think he was? Was he like six foot five uh, or something? Oh uh, maybe more? <laughs> almost uh Six nine six. Oh my god! Oh yeah, my god. He's, he's very, he's huge. Because yeah, uh, Luis, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Luis is very cool too. I love him, and uh, so uh, second time to working with him, and he's brilliant, very brilliant, very. I mean, awesome. it's cool, cool to have both brothers. Yeah, you know? David Worth and and yeah, it's it's. I know David for over um, eleven years, and. Uh, so uh, and he know my work and he see my evolution uh, year after year and uh, I was blessed working with him and it was it was very cool to helping me for uh, for this nice. movie. Yeah, good gun chucks again. There with you go, we got well, you got to do the chucks, man, because you, I mean, you are bad with the chucks, especially when you got two. Which is you just might as well just run away. We'll <laughs> see. Not I have some some. Oh, Afif, yes, this guy is great too. Look at Patrick. Yeah. Look, at Patrick look at that yes. wardrobe. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. right here, you're still dealing with yeah, I did, the yes. after effects, right? Of the experiment. Uh, yeah, we, we did some effect because I deal with something special. So uh, so uh, I have some vision, you know, because, um, yeah, if you, you remember uh, of the uh, my treatment, Ooh. this Matthias. Right. Matthias, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's, I like this push kick right here. Uh, oh, yeah. That's that uh, good. Yeah, yeah, this kick was, and uh, uh, Michael Siegel received it, and he said, "Yeah, go ahead, do it," and I, I do it. Nice. Mm. Now you yeah. I, I, you have a, you have abs, so it was cool. Yeah, yeah, man, I come in peace. That's yes. right, Dark Angel you know, over here. You know, uh, yeah, Matthias is already tall, but the guy I fight is a little bit taller. Wow, because yeah, Matthias is huge. <laughs> Yes, uh, Mark, 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 yeah. Mark is this badass martial artist, man. Yeah, yeah, he's. What, what, yes. How many styles does he know? Do you... Oh, he know, he know uh, uh, karate, kung fu, and also he, cre he, he know Wing Chun, but he create his own uh, stuff. But he's very, very, very. Um, yeah, I like. Uh, he create a lot of beautiful stuff for Borough Time too. This is a great shot. Right here. Yeah, Afif is a very charismatic actor. And uh, he's well known. He's well known internationally. He, he did. Um, he was on Taken. He was on. He, he was um, the villain of Ten Thousand BC. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm so lucky. Borrowed time. You know, all of these three movie. I was blessed to work with so many very great talent. Costas, of course. Yeah, looking sharp. Oh yeah, <laughs> Louis too. Yeah. Did you see? Um... Hell hath no fury, Louis' movie last year it was really yeah good. yeah yeah I know I, I, I did it, it. and um, I enjoy it I enjoy it because I think they did a great job and Jesse Johnson is a great di director and also oh yeah so I I spent a great time to watch and uh, I think uh, it was very 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 entertaining I I spent a great time you know yeah that was a great movie look at Mark going throwing down here in the dummy yeah look at that getting down wow. Yeah, I think Matisse's is character is he's, he's, you know, he's, what, kind what of, he's making me laugh a little bit. He's like, I know you get you get you want to fight, you're gonna get into trouble. Yeah, but yeah. you know, 
I, I really love to uh, give him the opportunity also to to play a, a good guy because he's he can he can be a good guy too, you know, because he's very yeah. cool actually. He, yeah. He, for some reason, he's still the same. He don't have changed. He's still powerful and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I follow him on Instagram, and he Mer still trains like every day. He's still yeah. huge. Yeah, Merrick. Merrick is very, very great actor. He's I love him, and uh, I'm fan of him. Yes. Nice. Christina, Shout out to Merrick. Yeah, Christina. She's wonderful, and uh, she's very charismatic too. And uh, believe me, um, we have a great time to shoot and. Um, so uh, yeah, I was nice. expecting. Yeah, the when I oh Eric yes yeah, Eric. Yeah, Eric. It was very cool to shoot to to do it. It was it was cool. It was you know yeah. always is um is very professional. Now um uh who's who's the the stunt man fighting Mark right here? Oh, it's um his name is Tomo uh, and. Uh, He's uh he's very good and uh, he's uh, one of they're getting down right here. This he, is good he, shit. Yeah, he he uh, he's um um he's a student of Mark also. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Cool pose right with, there uh, with a tall guy with a tall guy. He's Six foot ten. Yeah, <laughs> that guy is a big dude, man. Oh yeah, he is. Yeah. Yeah, he is. He is. He's very you got, big. Uh, you and Mark throwing down here. No, no, I don't fight Mark. Oh, okay, okay. No. No, no, I don't Oh, fight. okay, so it is another guy. Oh, that's a great combination. Yeah, it is. Oh, I got to see that again. That was great. He's uh, very fast. Oh, that was good. Fast. Fast and... Yeah. Love yeah. the jump kick at the end, man. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. my still my favorite. Him. Yeah, I I love the jump kick. Yes, I really love it too. <laughs> that's why that I is, is, that's it. Freeze frame right there, baby. Old school oh. martial arts. That's how yeah. we roll. Yeah, like blood sports. You know, at the... <sighs> yeah, yeah, that's right. And and that's good, Patrick. Uh, Patrick, when he's uh, when I ask him, I said, Patrick, we should said. Something special for like for the fan. Say like what? Yeah. Uh, bring me a dream, then all the bring yeah, yeah. And that's cool because um I think people uh, will love it. and I remember my friend uh Michael uh, Morris uh um he said, Oh, you should ask ask Patrick. I said, Yes, I will. <laughs> and uh <laughs> thanks for him. Uh, thank, uh, by the way, I, I would love to yeah. say thank you so much for the people who support the movie. And it's always good because you know um, what I what I I think people when they show their love that's uh, you didn't expect like I was surprised to receive like a picture of a guy with a, he brought he brought the DVDs um, of Borrowed Time, yeah. And so, so that's always good for 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 us, you know, because yeah, 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 yeah. that's mean a lot for me, you know. It's very important because it's always tough when we market independent film, but. Yeah, uh, people will be very surprised, and I think they will. Once they will watch this one, if they don't have watched the other one, they will say we have to do the the marathon of uh, the tree of the movie and yeah, the, get the watch. trilogy. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. I see. I see the the borrowed time poster in the back, and then I see yeah. uh, the you're wearing a borrowed time shirt. Is that what I see right there? Yeah, yeah, it is. It, it, it is. Oh, yeah. Are we gonna have merch? It's gonna be borrowed time merch. <laughs> yeah, 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 we have. Uh, we have. Uh, I have a um, uh, small store uh, ready soon. Oh, so you nice! Have All a right, shirt. You can have a uh, merchandising. You know, like All uh, right. like cool. a cup. You know, like cup. And nice, stuff. nice, nice, nice. It's gonna be cool, and yeah, that's fun. And for people who wants to support the movie and stuff it's always yeah. great but it's yeah. good quality t-shirt you know yeah yeah copy that copy that well man I, I i you know i'm proud of you you know you're living your dream becoming a filmmaker creating content that yeah. you want to create you know and uh, oh yeah out there uh, of course I have, a, I have more surprise and i'm i'm a, I'm, I'm on the process also beside to return a script is it's a thriller vampire movie so um yeah. So I don't want yeah. to spoil the story too, but it's gonna be very oh, no. very fun. But but Copy you that. know, like 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 I said, and like we talk with Patrick, 
uh, of course I am martial artist, of course I love action, but you know, I love horror too. I love also drama and I'm very, very versatile. And um, when I, I, that's why, you know, I, I, I'm not, I don't want to be top cast on one thing. Right. Yeah. So I, if, if it's, you know, it doesn't matter if, if I'm top cast, but I think. It makes you better, I, right? Yeah, I can, I can, I can do a lot of things, and uh, yeah. it's, um, and it's cool. Yeah, it makes you better overall. That your your yeah. everything's improving. Always improving. And, and, yeah, yeah, because, that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, because nowadays, like you know, uh, when I grow up with the eighties, nineties, and stuff, we have a big theater with a huge, uh, like Rambo Van Damme movies. Right, and, right, uh, right, right, right. Right now, it's expandable and stuff but it's very difficult right now to to put martial arts on a big screen yes yeah 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 it is it is but hey yeah. big screen small screen phone don't matter as long as you get your no movie matter, out there man yes exactly that's keep right. making movie that's yeah. the best uh yeah. yeah 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 that's right right there's more people watching movies at home than the theaters anyway now so <laughs> yeah yeah that's cool that's cool yeah. it's available everywhere but that's yeah but you know i love to feel uh are you going to have a premiere at a certain theater yes yes uh we have a um, plan to do a premiere in um in spring yes oh nice so, um, nice yeah Copy we'll do a that. yeah it's gonna be great yeah we will yeah. do a premiere and stuff and uh so um who knows probably one in la but uh i will let me know it. let me know i'll show oh, up yes. When uh, like last time we were running a lot for we were um, different area in Los Angeles and we yeah. go for just one two shot in San Diego you know oh okay Cause I have to, yeah because I have yeah. to go to the the Coronado and yeah. shoot uh, you know so it's, it's, it's it was epic believe me because two hours to driving fast to do just for <laughs> for stay just two hours for just. Two, Two shots. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, that's crazy. Hey, you pulled it off. You nailed it, though. But, hey, if you do have a premiere in L.A., let me know, Samurai Guy. Oh, yeah, up. definitely. I'll show definitely, up for sure, We man. will. And uh, so I, I'm happy we, 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 we signed the distribution. So nice. Already. All so right. uh, that's cool. And uh, Borrow Time is will be released uh, uh, on streaming, DVDs and stuff. So it's going to be fun. And, and I think... Uh, people will will uh, have the the three of the three film, and uh, they will say, "Oh, let's let's see." Because I think people people make me laugh. Last time they said, "Oh, normally normally um, the first one is the best," but I said, "Yeah, of course, definitely." But I don't know for some reason, film after film, I have improved. So right. uh, so, but yeah. I, I never I never said I never said. The other one are not good, but right, I right. said I am improved. And when you said you're proud of, you know, film after film, you said you have to say, okay, I do my my next film is better, my other film will be better, and stuff right. like that. Because you have to always improving and always say yeah. think about new new stuff. Because people when they say, oh, all of my stuff is good, no, said your stuff is great, but. You have to always improve and always think about it. Oh, I wish I can do this scene better. Because right, that's why I did right. a director cut for Borrow Time 2. There, ah, there you go. Nice, 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 nice. But no, it makes sense. You learn as you go. You improve, you know, yeah. and you try not to make the, the the same mistakes you made in earlier movies. And you get better and better and better. It makes the sense. Thing is, the thing is, uh, just one you know it's budget sometimes yeah time and budget because you know when you do indie film you have mm -hmm. also the um, the full uh creativity you're not blocked by by um a big studio behind yeah but <laughs> you have to be careful also sometimes you you want you cannot you, some 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 people don't understand what is the difference between um studio and i mean big studio and indie film and they, they they need to understand when they watch indie film they we it's not the same budget that doesn't right. mean your content is not great that doesn't mean that's your right content is great but you cannot expect the the same level of um like explosion VF. Yeah, produ production value yeah yeah 
That's yeah, not the yeah. same. But no. look, it's in the film and you got inside yeah. the trilogy all yeah, nice right. name. But I've seen some really great, amazing, uh, smaller budgeted movies. You know, the, the, the smaller budget for a smaller production didn't hurt the movie experience at all because the movies were great. Yeah. So, you, you know, you it's big to... budget is sometimes could be overrated. Yeah, <laughs> you don't need to be shy, you know, like, oh, no. You know, I, you know if you, you do what you have to do and, and you don't need to listen. Uh, yeah. Criticism, you know, on IMDb and stuff, sometimes people can destroy your films and, oh, it's bad and stuff. You can I, make, Alan, you can make an Oscar caliber Academy Award level movie and people will still find something wrong with it. People will still criticize because, unfortunately, that's just how people are, you know. That's human being. Yeah. Human being. yeah. But it, it's okay. It's fine. But yeah. they yeah. need to be a little bit respectful, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Don't attack anyone, of course. That's yeah, just, because you're crossing the line. You want to be a critic good. about it? That's fine. You know, don't attack the person. when you are a filmmaker, they, not, most of the time, it's not filmmaker who criticizes. No, right. no, no, no. Sometimes it's people who... Don't understand the process. They said, "Oh yeah, you don't have a big budget, but why you do this?" Because it's sometimes it's like um, you know, yeah, stunt even stunt. You need mm -hmm. to pay a lot of money for a very strong stunt team. It costs a right. lot. Insurance, right. insurance, it costs a lot too, because uh, mm, you shoot a true. fight right. when you shoot a fight, especially right now. They don't joke with that, especially in the U.S. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. That's 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 that is true. That is true. But, anyway, but no, you you brought up some great points. I mean, and how I approach movies, everybody's different, right? But how I approach movies when I watch movies is, yeah. if I come across a micro budget western, for example, yeah, I'm not going to expect it to be the good and the bad, the ugly. I'm not going to expect that micro budget yeah. Western to be tombstone. No. However, I will, will that micro budget Western entertain me when I'm done watching it? It's very possible, but yeah. I never go into movies like that expecting low budget productions. Like, okay. It's a small budget. It's a small production budget. That's perfectly fine. Is the movie entertaining? That's why. I'm yeah, here. exactly. That's all that matters. That's the point. That's yeah. why. Uh, that's why. Uh, last time when we talked, um, and I was in Beverly Hills with my di my distributor, he said, "You know, we spent uh, one million of dollar for making this movie, and we didn't perform very well. We have performed very well with the the low budget movie of uh, mm -hmm. like high fi horror." But you know, it's the, I, I really love you know um, a small horror film when it's you know when you see Friday Thirteen or Halloween they were a small budget movie uh, yeah yeah you know? small budget films and they're huge successes so yeah, big budgets can be brought, overrated sometimes that is a guarantee a great movie yeah. you know <laughs> but anyway anyway I know you're extremely busy don't go anywhere Alan but hey everybody watching don't forget to follow Alan and Patrick Kilpatrick. That's right. Their Instagram information is in the description box below. Thanks again for watching and hanging out with us. All you badasses. That's right. And everyone's you, excited. Uh, also, and, oh, yeah. Yeah. So everyone's, yeah. Everyone's excited for Borrow Time 3, man. Look at this. We got Jake Hall saying it looks awesome. Look at that. We <laughs> got you. Kevin here giving the thumbs up. That's right. You got Omni Blast here saying it looks very awesome. That's right. Movie Dojo Army knows what's up. That's right. That's how we that's how we roll. That's how we do. So thanks again, uh, everybody, for watching. Uh, really quickly before we completely end it, uh, anything to say, Alan, to your followers and fans? Yeah, I said uh, stay healthy. Stay healthy. That's the most important thing. Spread the love. Don't spread the negativity. And uh, also um, remember we have just one life and uh, enjoy your life. And also... Uh, Keep watching movie and follow Borrow Time. You will love it, guys. There you go. Very, very, very well said. Very well said. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget, only, only you channel members and patrons. Uh, tonight, we got a video. We got some trailers to watch. Join Samurai Guy tonight at 7. And tomorrow at 7 p.m. Pacific time, Juju Chan Secto will be here hanging out with the Samurai Guy. We're going to be talking about our movie, Fistful of Vengeance. That's right. 
It's going to be badass. So make sure you guys tune in tomorrow night as well at 6 p.m. Pacific time. That's right. That's how that's how we do it. That's how we roll. All right, Alan. Thanks again. You're always welcome to come back here on the show. Don't go anywhere, Alan. All right, no. guys. Like Alan said, be positive and keep watching movies. Take care, guys. <laughs>